I told you that everything you knew before was a lie? What if I told you that everything you had experienced before is all changed now? It's all different. What if I told you that everything that had come once will never come again? <laughs> what if I told you that Subnautica as you knew it before no longer exists? Gone. Poof. Like a fart in the night. Top of the morning to you ladies, my name is Jacksepticeye and welcome back to Subnautica. Below Zero, they've updated the game. I've known for a while that they're going to change the story of the game. They talked about it a while ago. I don't know why. I don't know what the reasoning behind any of that is, but the game has had a complete revamp on the story front. The intro is completely different, so everything that we played before now no longer applies. This is the Frostbite update. I love the name of it. Mwah. Chef's kiss. I was actually going to scratch my nose and then realized there was a joke in there. So it says immediately below zero is under heavy construction. Not just regular construction, heavy construction. Everything is different. So even if I wanted to get in and play the way I did before, I can no longer do that. It's all gone. Poof! I told you, fart in the night. So let's start a, n a new survival game. I want to know what's different about it. I know that the intro to the game is completely different and they are reworking a bunch of the story. They said the glacial basin is now different. This could be one video or 20, 20 videos. videos. Who knows? Who knows? Oh, something's wrong right off the bat. Are you sure you want to go through the storm? You crash. We can't come back for you. I know. I need cover from that sentinel. Wait, what the hell is happening? Cover from sentinel? Dude! We're way up! Holy crap! That's nuts! Approaching 45, 46 feet. Surface temperatures. Jesus! Life pod deployed. Oh! Damn! Yeah, that was way different. Why were you flying so close to that thing anyway? Obviously, that was going to end badly. Damn, nice. Welcome to 45 Oh. Enjoy your stay. Weird. So weird. Okay, so there's there's our little pod going down. Uh Robin made 45 46B. Landing was a bit rough, but I don't think Altera spotted me. I hid from their satellite, the drop pod deployed with gusto. I just have to find and get settled. Then I'll be able to get to work. Jesus Christ, everything's going wrong around me. Good Lord, lads. Get inside. Find a building. Find cover. Nutrient block. Okay, eat the dirt. Eat the ground dirt. Just fuck it out. I don't know where I am. I just need to get away from whatever's happening to me. <sighs> much nice. Ah, no. I thought it was much nicer in here, but this is, how is it fire underwater? How does that make science? All right, come here. Come here, I need some food and water. I know I have a nutrient block, but I like to eat living things instead. Okay, we're in, we're safe, everything's fine. Stop freaking out. Saying that more for my own benefit. Robin, found the drop pod. Is there anything better than being not cold and not wet? Yeah, there's probably a lot of things better than that. Being not on fire and not injured aren't bad either. Heavy agree on that one. If this, if this had a like button, I'd hit it. Just like you should on this video. Sam, if you left any traces, or sh I should say, if Altera forgot to clean them up, I'll find them. I'll start with your selfie. Pretty sure I can see your base in the background. Okay. Man, this is... I mean, I knew they were revamping the story, but yeah, this is way, way, way different. Um, so... They've said that the reviving the story, the glacial basin is improved. I have to go there and see that. That was the ice home with all the snow bears, right? And also the weather has been changed. They're also bringing in a freeze meter, which you can see now that I'm above surface. Wait, now I have to avoid being on the surface for too long or I'll freeze? God, that is annoying. Ah, the weather came down. And now I'm not freezing to death. That's always a good sign. Um, they also changed her voice. When she was leaving, she has an American voice now. I don't like that. I liked having her as a, a British person. 
That sounded cool. It was different, it was unique. So, she left the base because she had to get cover from the Sentinel. And the Sentinel is the thing that we made before, right? With, um, Alan? Huh. So that's why she flew close to the, the asteroid, or meteor, or piece of debris, or whatever you want to call it. Coming down out of the atmosphere because they had to get cover. Huh. Oh god, yeah. I don't want to die! Ah! Excuse me? Who's making those sounds? And why is making those sounds? You guys could just F off. That's a oh lord. Odin is mad! He strikes the earth with fearful vengeance! What have we done to oppose him? They may have changed a lot of the game, but the sense of dread and fear and not wanting to be here is still quite high. So I appreciate that. That's uh, that's some attention to detail, some consistency. Oh, see all this deep down, dark deep down? Yeah, don't want any of it. I missed my boost. I need to make that tank again soon. I missed the super speed across the top of the water. They better not have patched that out. If they patch that out, I'm gonna patch. Uh, I was gonna say something, but it would have just sounded mean and like a threat, and I I don't I don't really care that much. So. I'm just gonna ring a bell to cover my lack of joke. Can the weather just not for five minutes? Just shut up! I'm trying to explore and enjoy myself, and you're out here like, ah, the world's ended. Ah, oh, it's nice out here though. If you just ignore the sounds, yeah, that's nice. I just put on some peaceful music, some high chipper stuff. Lovely. Me needs to be starting finding some fragments like this lad over here. Me need sea glide. Me need scanner. I actually need the scanner first because I can't scan the sea glide without a scanner. You'd think after starting the game for the 500th time that I'd know what I'm doing. No. I may be the king of Subnautica, but um, it changes so often that it's hard to remember what the hell is going on. Dude, can I make anything like that yet? Oh, oh, baby, oh, buddy, oh, pal. And nice. I didn't I realize I could do that before. I don't know, why don't you realize that you can shut up? I'm taking a lot of issues out on you guys. It's very unfair, but also funny, question mark? God, look at this. It looks like the bottom jaw of something that I do not want to be near. All right, scan, scan, scan. There you go, good boy. Three fragments. Just scan it, most of it's here. Come on, look. You can basically figure it out from that. Oxygen. Come on, Robin. And I don't mean the lovely person editing this video. I mean this lady right here. But I don't even know her anymore. Her voice is different. Her her nationality is different. She doesn't even talk to her sister anymore. Stinky. Boo, meow, 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 meow. The last one! Fragment! Yes, we be! Whoa, look at all this! So I'm not as familiar with this game as I would be regular Subnautica, so I don't really know what's hugely changed and different. But we're gonna find out together by golly gee heck. Anything up here different? Still rain and meteors. Could you not? This planet is so extra. It just wants so much attention all the time. Could, could, could you just not? Oh, I can make a standard O2 deck. Heck yeah. I want that. Ah. It's lovely. Nighttime. Gigantic moon, way too close. Stealing a baby. Hey! Ah! You know what? No, just for that, I'm stealing your child. Come on, child. You have flippers. Flip them. I don't need a sea glide if I have you. Eat the fish. Eat the fish. Nom nom. Nom nom. God, you suck. Get out of here. Was that the bite of 87? The hell is that sound? I need to find copper. Can you guys point me towards copper? Where is it? Is it over here, lassie? <gasps> is this it? Did you point me in the right direction? It's just titanium, you stupid fur- There's copper! Alright, I take it back. I'm sorry. I said a lot of words in a lot of combinations that could be seen as hurtful. But... Sure, fact, it'll be grand. Let's me make some copper wire. And then I need 
Didn't I make a battery? Oh, I used it to make the scatter! Ding dong! It's my brain! Welcome, come on in! Alright, cool. Now we have a one of these. A one of them. Let's put these away, because I don't need them. Don't want them. Don't care, don't know, know how. Uh, cool! Off we go! And it's morning! Oh, the top of it to you. The top of it to all of you. I'm going down, I'm going under, and I'm going out, and I want to figure out how to get to the glacial base. Can I even do that right now? Do I have to make this stupid sea truck? I'm, it's not stupid. It's very useful. I just don't want to have to go through all of that hassle. I just want to get up and out and over. Emergency cash detected nearby. <gasps> Ooh, don't mind if I yes. I also need to be over here because I need to get these. That's a nice knife. Get some creep vine. We need to make some silicone or some fiber mesh or something like that. Man, it's so nice to have a sea glide. Yes. So lovely. So fast. So lean. We can do this, guys. We can survive this game. It's nothing but a bunch of stink. Ah, yeah. This one. Okay. So this stuff seems all pretty much the same. Which is why I'm reluctant to do just about everything. Because a lot of this is just very similar. Um, okay. These might actually be different. New technology acquired. A compass! Ass, everybody! I'm telling you, Sammy, you see some weird things when you spend half your day in a sea truck out there. More vandalism? Was it the sea monkeys again? I can't shake the feeling this planet is cursed. Gentle laugh. Ha ha ha. There's no such thing as a curse yet, dumb stupid Fred. Yeah, you're probably right. It's nothing you wouldn't want to hear about anyway. Just a huge creature, frozen in ice. What? Where? In a cave not far from your lab. And here's the extra weird part. As soon as I called it in, they sealed off the area. Don't want anyone going in there. But why? Sammy, I'm no biologist, but I think there was something wrong with it. Its skin just seemed off. Alien. Dangerous weather approaching. Seek shelter. Oh my god. Mock shock teasing. An alien on planet 4546B? Come on, Fred. I wasn't born in the last few hours. I'm serious, Sam. Something ain't right. I could show you, but I can't get back in there. You can't, but I might know how to. Whatever you're thinking, we never had this conversation. Ooh. Uh, could you give me the information? Wait, so is Sam not even, like, my sister in this version now? Are Robin and Sam still related, or completely separate entities? I hope they're still related, because I like that dynamic. Meow, 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 meow. No, Jesus Christ. I was fixing my microphone, you dirty bitch. Don't do the thing. My brain, don't do the thing. Don't do the thing. Oh, don't do the thing. I'ma do the thing! Through your hole I go! Awesome. I was making these sounds. There's a lot of... And I can't see anything that would be making them. Is it the peepers? Should just give the, the peepers, like, the most dangerous sound in the game. Or the bladderfish, like one of the most harmless creatures in the game. Just have them sound like an absolute Godzilla creature. Alright, I need to go make a new tank. This tank? It's old. It's smelly. I need a new tank. That new hotness. Sweet. Now I got so much O2. And I get to make a repair tool? What? That's wild. In my Subnautica? Sorry, guys. There's no time to play anymore. I am ascending. I am leaving this plane, you stupid mortals. Farewell! Just joking, guys. I'm actually still here, stuck in quarantine like the rest of you. So now that they've changed the story, that means all sense of direction is gone? Seems like the intro is new, but I'm not getting any sort of information about, hey, go here and do this like I did in the other version. Is that even in the game? Oh! Some text is coming in. Picked up what sounds like a distress call. If I investigate, I'll use caution. Okay, but like where though? Aliens. Well, yeah, there actually are aliens in this game. Let's go up here. Nice! 
kill you. Look, I'm doing it. I don't know what it is, but I'm doing it. I cannot make it across that. Dangerous weather approaching. Seek shelter. God, if it's not the oxygen, it's the weather. Just let me live, will you? Let me live my life. In peace and comfort. Ooh, that's a new thing. I haven't seen this before. Then again, I haven't actually come up here before. Hoi! Nice. Pick up snow. Ooh! Snowballs! Who wants a snowball fight? I'm really good. God, this weather is actually quite scary. I... I don't like it. The hell is going on? I'm gonna go over and see this tower. What do you got? You got secrets and stuff and things? I bet you got nothing, actually. Cool! It's nothing. I did it, guys. Whoa, the underside of this looks so gross. <laughs> Whoa! Ice fruit plant. Lots of information. Pick up ice fruit. Ooh! Is this new? This feels new. Can I eat it? Yes! Dude, nice! Gives you a ton of stuff. A ton of water and food. Oh, that's what I was missing last time. I hate the food and the water. I mean, it's part of the survival. It is a survival game. But... Sometimes, sometimes you just want to mess around, you know? Yeah, there's a fly in my arm. Does this lead somewhere? I've never actually tried to come here before, so this might be new, or it might just be the same stuff that I've always seen. And just never tried coming this direction. Can you run a little faster, Robin? I can see my own boobs. And my own legs and hands. Best game, 10 out of 10, good improvements. Am I gonna get murdered? If there was a serial killer on this planet and island, this would be the place to go. Ooh, a bridge. Oh God, thermal vent. As long as no ice worms come after me, I'm happy. Those guys were the suckiest. Please tell me I can get over there. Ooh, please, oh please, oh golly gosh. Don't, don't do it. No, oh, yeah, my glankles are safe for another day. Oh, that's just vanished. Dangerous weather approaching, seek shelter. Lady, this entire planet is bad weather. This entire scenario is bad for me. I could have broken both glankles in that one. Let's go up and over. Hell yeah. Oh, Jesus. Can I get close to this and heat up? Ah, yeah. Ah, yeah. Um. Okay. Pathfinder? What the hell? Yeah, you're leading me to this, but there's nothing here. Oh! I got. A pathfinder leading me to a pathfinder fragment. Awesome. <laughs> oh, I thought we found something like amazing suddenly. Oh, this is promising. Oh, this is the area. So now you don't need the sea truck to get down to it and go past all the jellyfish. This is that area, right? I like that. I like that I can just come up to the surface and walk around and find stuff. What are you? Pick up snow. No. Spy penguin log. Research continues to go well. The spy penguin adds many more opportunities to research this incredible planet, allowing us to reach areas we previously could not reach. Many of these areas have dense resource pockets. Native life seems to respond well to the spy penguin with minimal attacks. To the okay. Neat. What are you? A snow plant. What's making sound next to me? I'm hearing footsteps, so I'm making mine go faster. I am out. No, 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 no. Rinsight. Snow fox hover pad. 
New technology created. Very epic. Uh, I think you mean new blueprint acquired. Oh, I can go in. Wait, can I do that before? I don't know. Fabricator. Okay. <laughs> A large room. I don't want to be base building yet, though. That's not that type of video. But I see scan thing, I scan. Yeah. Oh, that was a thing from before, yeah. Snowfox fragment. Boom, baby. How many do I need? Three. Large room partition. Okay. Water purification tablets. Ooh! A jukebox disc. A bed. This is the place to be. Sapient life. Hey there, Sam. Oh, hey there, pengling buddy. Hi, Fred. What brings you this way? I was just passing by. Lillian wanted a hand with a deep dive out in the bridges. You know, I think she's right. There's some weird stuff out there. The clicking sound? An SOS. I heard it with my own ears. Good job. Whoa, I get so many beds. So you think she's right? There's intelligent life down there? Sapient life. And I don't know. You leave that... I leave that to you scientist types. This scientist is more at home with these penglings. But if my sister was here, she'd be all over this. So they are still sisters. Okay, good. Wait, are you telling me you're not the brains in the family? Oh, my family has many different brains. Like, uh... Uh... A hydra? Uh, well... Acting silly. Hisses like a snake. Nuzzles your neck. Roar uwu xd. Okay, yeah. Actually, I like that analogy. Makes it hard to get along sometimes, but it's never dull. That's the end of your conversation. Oh! Can I make a spy pangling? I like that. I can make a little robot one? Cool! Anything up here? I need to get snow fox fragments. Whoa! 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 Hold on! Hold on! Ho hold on! I know you're sending me a message. I have a message pending. Um, I just need to get everything here first. I need to get the lube! Okay, is that it? Oh, no it's not! We can go into the top side of the base. That wasn't a thing before, was it? I don't need these things. Indoor grow bed, though. Uh... Hells yeah. More lube? You can never have enough lube. Power cell charger fragment? I cannot remember any of this game. Well, it's not even that long ago that I was playing it. Why can I not remember? What did I just pick up? Cold suit. That works. Uh, sample extraction update. The Vesper has continued to support my request for more staff members to investigate the anomaly frozen in the ice. We've made steady progress with the excavation and are close to being able to extract a viable sample. Special care will be needed for safe transport if sample extraction is successful. So now, they're doubling down on the idea of that leviathan that's in the wall. Ooh, a fridge! And coffee! Oh, baby, y'all know how much I love coffee. I told you guys before, I'm making my own coffee. My own coffee company. It's ready to go. It'll be announced soon, so you better keep an eye out for that. Because the old story is that you're a researcher down here and shit goes wrong, so you have to figure out what's happening, and then stuff starts waking up. The alien technology wakes up, and then Alan gets inside your head and tells you what to do. This one seems like stuff was already happening down here and went wrong, and I'm just kind of coming on to the end of it, and we're... We're coming to find that alien that was in the ice. Oh, I'm assuming this is going to be a thing where we can put a power block into and then this opens as a gate. Really interesting. Shut up! Any fragments out here anywhere? They're, they were normally just littered all over the place out here and I found them. So that means this whole place is a different orientation now that I'm not used to. We might able we might be able to still find the Leviathan in the frozen ice. And now they're putting a lot more story around that. So maybe 
that's different. Maybe I can actually get there and check it out. The snow fox fragment. Uh, or not. What? Never mind, then. I guess I'm the dumb one for thinking that I could scan that. There you go. Thank you. You work. Why can't you just... Why can't the other one just be like it's brothers and sisters? Ooh, skeleton bones. That I can't scan. Okay. Ooh, snow fox. That should be it. New Only thing is now, I don't have a habitat builder or anything like that to be actually be able to make that. Whoa. Skelly mans. Oh, what is down there? Oh! Hi! Snow bear! Oh god. Okay. Oh you wanna attack me? Come on! Attack me over here! Fall in the hole, please! You would make this entire video if you did that. Or not, just run around and actually kill me. Oh, that's cool too, I guess. Part of me really wants to jump in there to see what it is, but... What if all it does is bring me back outside the glacial basin and then I have to work my way back in? Good lord! Ooh. Cool. I found like a secret underground area. Oh, this is really pretty looking. I mean, I, th I think I've been here before. I think this... I think this might be where the giant leviathan is. But I'm not sure. Looks familiar. I think I might just be in the next area of the glacial basin. I'm glad they reworked a lot of this. Because when I was on the glacial basin before, it got really confusing. It's still kind of confusing. Because there's- everything just looks the same. You're not really sure where the landmarks are or what direction you're going in. So, it makes you feel a little lost. And coming into these wide open areas looks cool. But again, I just don't really know where I am in relation to anything. But it does seem like it's a bit more linear than it was. Okay, they said something about snowballs and... Can I pick up snow? Snowballs and these guys do something, apparently. But what does it do? I don't know. Did it get him off my ass? Sir? Ah! God, get off me, you heaving beast! No, 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 no thanks, no thanks, no thanks, no thanks. What have we got over here in this neck of this place? Ah. Looks cool, though. This whole area is... Hypothermia imminent! Oh, God! Can I pull out a flare and get heat? Okay, get back into a cave. Jesus! The weather out here killing me fast, bruh! I guess all these little caves make more sense now as well. Not sure I'm a fan of that mechanic. I'm not sure if I like... I mean, I do have a cold suit now. Which makes more sense, but... I just don't like having another bar that I need to keep an eye out for. Another resource that I need to keep topped up. I don't think that's what this game needed. This is very orange. Yup, yup, yup. There's more of them in here. Oh lord. Whoa! That's cool! I don't think we've ever just seen like a full white moon like that in this game, have we? Or am I misremembering? Oh, shit. Am I just leave? Cool? Is that okay with you? Oh, God, they're everywhere. Why are they everywhere? It's almost like this is where they live. Ah! Jesus! Where this leads you, I don't know. But the other way leads to teeth. Oh! This is the other main area that we used to get to. Did I just do a giant circle back to where I started? Wow. That's magical. Seeing this stuff shoot across the planet like that. That's really awesome. So I'm up here now. But again, I just don't know where I came from or where I'm going. <sighs> Ow! <sighs> okay, we found a nice little cave to hide out in. So I'm just gonna sit, relax, back off, jack off, and regroup for the next episode and leave this one here. So 
a lot of changes to the game. This glacial basin is completely different. I I didn't know my way around it the first time. Now I know less of where I'm going and what I'm doing and where I am in it. So I don't know if I just need to get more used to it or... Because I, I don't have a compass yet, but I don't think a compass would actually help me. I wish there was some sort of like map system in the game. Like you could, cr you could find elements of something to craft a map or something to like scan an area and then it came up here. Because we have like this... Oh, it's not showing up right now. I can't toggle the map on it right now. We have the map on that, but it's more of a, a gimmick than it is actually helpful. So, something to help navigate this area, because before in old Subnautica you had the mountains. And those were kind of hard to navigate, um, but they were, they were small, so you could get away with it. And you could just go to the top and then be like, oh, over there, okay, let's go there. But these areas now are massive, and there's very few sight lines to be able to see where I am in conjunction to where I was. So I just feel like I'm getting lost a lot, and I don't really know what I'm working towards. Part of that is the early access aspect to it, because it's not finished yet, and there's no guiding direction. Oh god, there's bears in here. But also, some of the story changes that they've made, I'm not sure that I'm kind of on board with either. Because I liked the story, I liked where it was, and started off with a nice bit of chemistry between the sisters, and kind of got you to know a bit about the personalities through that. We didn't have to hear a whole lot about it, because... The first game didn't really have a personality on the main character, and that's fine. But now that they started to put one into this game, that opening scenario was really nice and really sweet. And you got a bit of the dynamic between the sisters and her being trapped here and the sister being up there added to this sense of like, okay, that's where I need to go. That's my end goal, I assume. And it felt like, oh, the sister's helping me out. That familial bond was something that I really liked. And having them be British added a little bit of extra humor to it and a bit of extra personality that we didn't have originally. Um, and then finding Alan, it ad added to that mystery. And he was kind of guiding you along and pulling you along and telling you where stuff was. I liked all that. And building up his body and having him be like a sentinel at the end of it was badass. So this change I personally don't like. I don't know why they changed the story. I'm sure there's a very good reason for it. I've heard that there was like writer disputes on the game. I don't know. I don't have any um, inside information or anything like that on the game. Um, I'm just not sure if changing the personality of the character to an American personality over the British one was a right move. I'm, I'm not sure if I like the new voice actress for that character all that much. I don't know, maybe it's just because change is change and it's a bit harder to get used to and we just don't have enough of it right now to really warrant a, a judgment on it. So I'm going to reserve too much of my judgment until more of the game is put together. But right now, I, it just doesn't feel like it's there. This new meter of having to avoid the weather, I get because you're out in the cold and whatnot. But again, I just don't feel like a new meter to, to monitor is something that this game needed. I feel like the game's story is cool enough. The original game, what really pulled me along was that you have the survival elements first, and that's cool, and that kind of gets you into it, but then it was the mystery and the story that really kept me playing, and going down into deeper, scarier scenarios and figuring out all the alien tech and everything. That's what Subnautica was good at to me. Not the survival aspect, not the level design, not the gameplay mechanics on their own. They were just servicing a really cool mystery and a really cool plot and alien stuff that was going on. And then at the end, building a rocket and whatnot was really fun for me. So that's what kept me invested in it. So I'll, I'll give the game more time to flesh itself out to see if to see where this story is going. Because um, I'm just interested. I love Subnautica and I want to see what they're going to do with the game. And I really wish them the best with it because they are really good at what they do. So, I don't know. Let me know what you guys thought down in the comments. Maybe I'm just being a bit overly critical on it right now. Um, but we'll see where it goes. Also, let me know what's in this new update, what there is to see, because I don't know if I've kind of tapped the potential of it yet, or if there is more story elements to it, and there's more stuff to see that will progress stuff along and show me some new changes. So, let me know. I would love to get your feedback on it. But as always, don't forget to leave a like on the video. Please do. It really helps me out a lot and helps out the channel a lot and helps the videos get to as many people as possible, which is what we're always here to do, to try and bring more people into the quarantine club and have fun. Um, but thank you guys for watching this episode regardless. Uh, I appreciate you. I hope you're all staying safe and I'll see you in the next one.
What are you guys looking at? I can just build a robot version of you that's better. 